Excellency, what should your agencies like ITU be doing to help accelerate ICT uptake and investment? Well, uh, you know, clearly uh, ITU is uh, very well known uh, in the communication sector, uh, all uh, over the world, and uh, certainly they do have contacts uh, with uh, investors. So clearly, you know, by working with uh, those of us uh, in developing countries, uh, we can be exposed to these uh, um, uh, in, in investors, and uh, this is uh, what uh, we, we, we want them to continue to do. Uh, clearly, uh, one important other thing is uh, helping build uh, capacity, uh, because uh, you know in our countries uh, the level of education and particularly you know level of uptake of knowledge in the communication sector is uh, on the low side. Um, they gather a lot of information and data uh, from all over across the world, and uh, we need this uh, information and data uh, to form us up. You know, initially the content that uh, we can adapt for use by our you know people. So the area of helping to build capacity is a very important one. Uh, capacity building through um, uh, provision of uh, existing data and th also through helping to train uh, at the country, regional and international levels. Uh, these are some areas that they can help. But uh, above all, I think uh, in the area of standardization, uh, yeah, the um, developing countries uh, are at the receiving end. I think we need to move and interact uh, with uh, those uh, manufacturers so that uh, whatever they pr produce can suit our environment and the uh, IT can help uh, in bringing about this interaction. While the internet is a powerful resource for communication and learning, it can be a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. What actions are needed to make cyberspace a safe place for all? Well, there are so many actions that are, are needed. You may also, you know, recall the, you know, the, when the uh, Einstein uh, that discovered the, you know, the, the power of uh, the nuclear energy. Uh, it had uh, such an enormous uh, positive uh, impact on the world. But uh, you also know what uh, the uh, negative impact uh, became. Uh, when it was used for, you know, uh, weapons uh, of uh, destruction. Uh, we, the internet uh, has a similar story for the world. It has wide, uh, you know, advantages uh, for all of us, particularly those of us in developing countries that are trying to catch up. We lost uh, on the um, scientific uh, age. We also lost uh, on the industrial you know, uh, age, but uh, we believe that uh, this information age, uh, we can use the internet as a powerful tool to develop uh, social economic uh, uh, aspects of uh, our life in our countries. So, as uh, it is helping us to, you know, uh, develop, uh, clearly uh, there are elements in society that can also use it, you know, to cause a lot of uh, trouble. And uh, this is really what is happening. What can we do to really uh, uh, cut down or to diminish the uh, bad uh, effects? I think the first uh, important thing is to set up uh, the regulatory and uh, you know, uh, environment so that uh, we can uh, pass the bill, various uh, bills that allow us to monitor and control um, the negative aspects of uh, internet. So clearly, that the first thing is that um, the enabling, um, putting up an uh, enabling environment. Then after that, you need to get uh, those uh, agencies that you create to work properly. It's no use uh, having the bills if indeed uh, you do not have the agencies and the tools that uh, you can use to implement uh, the elements uh, of the bill. And therefore, that is uh, you know another important uh, area that uh, we need to give uh, some uh, priority to. Excellency, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.